So now let's work around with making custom textures in Toon Boom Harmony. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil right over here and then I'm going to select something like a plain texture, increase the size. So you can see right now that it is quite plain. So now what I can actually do is I can actually expand this uh, and then I can go to texture and over here I can select any one of the various textures which are a preset and draw it out and the texture is replaced. And the texture as you see is not a vector graphics but a raster graphics. So what you can do is you can use a tool like Photoshop to create texture as you like it. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to create a new file right here. So resolution depends on how much detail you want, want it to be. But in my case, I'm just going to keep it uh, around 100 by 100 pixels because I do not want it to be too detailed. So if you don't know how to use Photoshop, you can take a look at my playlist in my YouTube channel and you'll be able to learn Photoshop right from the basics. So here's the background as you can see. So for Photoshop, for the texture, I need everything to be black. So I'm just going to now unlock the background layer right here and then I'm going to uh, delete out the details right over here. I'm going to press Control A. I'm going to delete out the background so that it is transparent. So I can get any of the uh, shapes right over here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose one of the shapes to be turned into a texture. So you can see that there are a lot of textures in Photoshop that you can choose from. I'm going to press OK. So let's say I want this uh, texture right over here. So I'm just going to make this leaf just like this and do a copy paste of them right over here. So there you go. There's one uh, shape right there. So I'm going to go over here onto my move tool right over there. And I'm going to make multiple copies of this just like this. Hold Alt and drag and there you go. Multiple copies just like that. So this is the texture I'm going to use. Multiple copies over here, multiple copies over here, over here, and there you go. I'm not, I'm gonna make sure it is not to the edge too much, just like this. There you go. So this is the texture I want to use, suppose. I can also expand its size and then do it random, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. So now I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save it file on my tube drive right here and rename it as Toon Boom Texture, okay? So a Toon Boom Texture, and I'm going to press save, just like this. Once I save it out, you can see that transparency is being used here. Once it's being saved, I'm going to go back into Toon Boom, and then over here to add in texture, you can see that there's a plus icon. So just click on this, and I'm going to navigate around into my Tube drive. So here's my Toon Boom Texture. I'm just going to open that out. And once I open that out, you'll be able to see over here, this is my texture. So I can increase the size right over here. And if I were to draw it, you can see that the texture I made in Photoshop appeared over here. So you can make any type of textures and then just bring it out over here just like this. You can see that this is a raster graphic. So according to the detail you need, you have to work around with the texture. If you want to remove a texture, simply click on any one of the texture and click on the minus button that deletes out the texture for you. So just like this, you can see that according to the size, everything is actually controlled. So just like that, increase out the size right over here and then you can create a custom texture just like this. So now if you want to edit the texture, then there's a way to do that as well. So let us work around with the straight line uh, for this so that it is actually easier let me just increase the smoothing a bit so that I can see the detail over here. So just like this, I got the texture. I'm gonna close this out and to edit the texture size and everything, I can actually go over here onto my um, um, second tool that after the selection tool right here and go to edit gradient and texture. And then now I can select out any of the shape as you can see. But as I select out the shape, you can see that the texture is highlighted right over here and you get a bounding box. So what you can do is you can resize the bounding box and it actually affects the texture. So you can actually uh, make it smaller, make it larger right over here. You can pull it, push it, and you can uh, work around with it just like this. You can move, move it around over here. If you move it around, you can see that the texture moves just like that. You can make it smaller or make it bigger just like this. 
make it small, make it large, and so forth. So you can edit the size of the texture accordingly, just like this. Just expand this, okay? And then uh, like make it smaller and so forth. And that is how you can customize how the texture actually will seem in the brush. So that is how you can make your own custom textures and edit them inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.